Oh, we're good. Hey, um, obviously you guys uh, lost a couple guys from that D-line room, specifically at D-tackle. Um, are, are you taking on uh, a bigger leadership role there, or, or how, how do you kind of view that with some of those guys uh, that, that you lost this offseason? Uh, you know, we still we got we got a group of younger guys in here as well. So I, uh, I'll tell you, it's a it's a, we've got a pretty good group right now, you know, and uh, a younger group. And uh, right now, I'd say I'm uh, what the second, the second oldest guy in the D line room. So, you know, I gotta take that role as a uh, as a leader in that in that in that room as well. David, you, you made a lot of plays last year from the nose, a lot of sacks. What, what's the difference between playing three tech and the nose for you? Uh, it's not really like a difference. I think uh, it was just scheme wise what we did on uh, on third down and passing situation. So, you know, uh, it wasn't like I was in there playing like the nose on most rundowns. It's just it's just a scheme. Is there anything about being in that spot, rushing, that, that creates an advantage being right over the, the center for you? Uh, I don't think there's any difference between that and being at the three. So I, I feel comfortable with both. So. David, how well has Michael Roach progressed from last year to this year? A lot. Because, uh, you know, based off uh, – the drills we've been doing and, uh, you know, working with, with our coaches that right now, you know, you, you, you see the improvements and you see you see someone who is who is getting comfortable, getting comfortable in the scheme, getting comfortable in, in, uh, in the things we do out here. So you see a lot of changes and uh, big improvements from uh, from his rookie year. David, when you mentioned that you're a – one of the leaders now. I mean, is that a, a change for you? Is that something you uh, you have to embrace, or or that sort of gradually become more and more comfortable of a role for you over the years? Uh, it's something that becomes more comfortable over the years. You know, uh, me coming here and ending up having uh, what by my third year, we were kind of like the second oldest in the room at that point. So, you know, I I, I take that up. What's your thoughts about Pete Turner? He's he's a strong, quick, twitchy guy. You know, tall as well. So he's he's uh you know, based of going the weight room and uh, doing the little drills he's been doing, he's been doing amazing. So you you, you could you could tell he's got like the he's got the work ethic and uh, he's gonna be he's gonna he's gonna be awesome. Here. David, I think numbers wise, last year was probably your best year as a pro. Um, is there still some stuff that you, that you felt like you 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 left out there? Is it something you wanted to improve on going into this offseason, or, or were, you, were you satisfied with how that went? No, I, I, I the way I go into the season, I go into the season with the same mindset, just to to to, to be a sponge and uh, be able to take coaching. Because uh, the moment you think you're better than you actually are, you know, you, you're going to get surprised by uh, by the football guys. David, the young guy, Lorenzo Dio, has come in. His dad used to play for the Saints. How do you see him fitting in with your uh, He's got the strength, you know. He's got the strength and the size. So the, 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 the most important thing is going to be, you know, how do I put it? It's going to be camp and seeing how just just getting just having them get like get a feel for what actual like nfl football is that's i think that's the same for every every young person right now <clears throat> all right david perfect thank you my friend appreciate it